Hey, what's going on, Flash Mob? It's your boy Flash, and I'm back again with another HoneyBook video. One of the most vital things for me to help close my deals are my proposals. Well, if you've never heard of a proposal, this is essentially what they are. A proposal is essentially a document that's created that outlines everything that you're going to be giving to a client. Now, it should definitely include information about you and your brand, a quick look at some work that you've produced before, a clear outline of the services and deliverables that you're going to be providing to them, and finally, the price and an agreement. And in the case of HoneyBook, a way for the client to pay now. My goal in this video will be to show you how I create my proposals from scratch and how I use proposals to close my deals. So this is definitely a video you don't want to skip. So let's hop over to HoneyBook and see how we make this happen. So really quickly before we get started, guys, I want to let you know that HoneyBook has a 30% discount that's available for your first year of using the program. If you're the type of person that likes to save some money, I'll leave the link in the description. And just to let you know, it is a great way to help support this channel. Okay, cool. So we're in HoneyBook now. And to get to your proposals, you go to your templates. You go to file templates again. Then we just go to create new. And then we select proposal. So this is essentially what this page looks like at first glance. At the top here is where you'll actually name it. Over here are the pages that you'll be creating. This is where your brand colors are. This is where you save it. Um, and this is where the information is typically going to be. So what HoneyBook likes to do is it likes to ensure that you have an invoice, a contract, and a way for you to get paid, first of all. So we're going to make sure that we keep those three things here all the time. If you want to add a new page, this is where you come to do it. So what I like to do is I like to make what's called like a welcome page. So essentially what I'll do is I'll start from a blank page and um, I'll create, take an image. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I always got some images of myself, make it nice and big. Now what I'll do is come and crop it down. So something like this. Whoa, whoa, that's funky. Whoa, whoa, why is it doing that? Right? And then I'll have like, um, I'll add a title. I'll give it something like flash forward service guide. Make that huge. Put that right in the middle. And I'll give it a little bit of a color. Go in my branding, cool. So yeah, we have something that looks like that. And then what I like to do is also add some information about myself. So what I like to do is create some of these files in Canva and then bring them over into HoneyBook because I feel like I have a little bit more creative control on how I want things to look um, on there. So I just make it happen over there and then bring it over. So let me show you guys how to do this. So essentially what you can do is add another image here. So what I'm gonna do is go here and add an image and it brings up this field for you. And now what you can do is if you have some images that's maybe on your computer or wherever, you can go to the upload section here and then just drag and drop it into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Then I have something that looks like this. Now what I can also do, which I like to do, is we'll click on one of these little gears here. We'll go to background color and I'm gonna change that to black. I'm like actually black. So yeah, something like that. And I'll do that up here as well. Black, black. And there we go. That just more or less fits the branding of my website and just how I want to have things appear on HoneyBook. So there we go. We have innovative company. It tells them a little bit about myself. Great. And what I also want to do is show them my production gear. So I'm also going to add another image here. And again, I'm just going to go back over to where I have some of my... Um, Photos and files. I'm gonna go to upload. I'm just gonna upload this. And great. That gives them all the information about my equipment, tells them a little bit about my company, and a little bit of a header or whatnot that I can show them. Perfect. And I'm just gonna name this one welcome. And because I want this to appear as the first thing that they see, I'm gonna grab these little dots here. I'm just gonna drag it up to the top like that. So cool. So now we have a page that's just gonna welcome these people to the proposal. And we can go on to the next page. So what I like to do next is add another page. And I want to tell them a little bit about my process. So we'll say process. And again, I want that to show up after the welcome page. So I'm going to drag it there. Cool. And uh, with my process, I make it super simple. I'm just going to add another image to start off with. And um, uh, I think I'm going to use this image this time. 
and let's crop it again because a little too much for me so i'll crop it right there cool so now i have this and then i'm going to add some uh i'm going to add a title underneath it's going to call it uh our four step process highlight it make it bold make it huge bring it to the center it change the color of this as well and then we're going to make this background black cool so now we have something that kind of looks like this and then what i want to do next is add in a, a new block so i'm going to go i'm going to do it through this one so that there's no space here i'll add a new field here and i'm actually going to create some columns here so something like this another step one i'm going to call it planning and then i'm going to throw some text in there i'm not going to bold that and I'm going to center everything. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Step two, we call that pre-production. Something like that. Don't need this divider. And I'm going to center it. And like I said, to you know match my branding, I'm going to make this all white. I'm sorry, black. And then I'm going to change all of this to white. So I wish there was actually an easier way to do this, but I don't think they have it yet. So we just got to do it like that for now. So yeah, I'm not going to go and do every single step that I do for you guys so you guys understand what's happening. You can go in here and create a process and let people see what you do and how you get it done and use it as a page that you present to your clients. And the next thing we want to add in here is our services. Now, obviously, this is an important one because this is what shows people what we charge and how we do it. And uh, they like to put it before the invoice, so we will do that. And um, if you guys have created uh, your templates from before, like in the previous videos that we said, you can actually choose from a previous template and just it'll upload it for you, or we can start from scratch. So we're going to start from scratch, and we're just going to create a service. So we're going to say full day cinematography. So 2500 and as you can see it'll pull up all the information um so as you guys can see it'll pull up all the information and services that we give for a full day and then what i like to do uh, again is i like to add an image because it just makes it look a little bit more professional and polished so i'm going to use this one and i'm going to crop it cool and so yeah that's our first service so if we want to add another one we just go in again add royal services uh let's say this time we're gonna do um digital editing so i have a few different ones let's do this one so again great it's going to show us all the information that we have what it costs all that good stuff and again i'm just going to add an image just so we can make it look a little bit more professional I'll crop it again and great now you can go through here and add as many services or whatnot that you want your client to be able to select when they go through this brochure when they go through this proposal, it's entirely up to you. But what I like to do is keep it to maybe two, maybe three, and only show the client exactly what they're looking for so that they don't get overwhelmed with different options. So let's close that. And then we go over to the invoice page. So yeah, we have an invoice that's set up. And once they select their services from the previous page, that information is going to show up here and it breaks it down. You can select your tax. I live in Toronto, so our tax is 13%. I'm going to change that. And then um, you can break down a payment plan with them. So if you're doing more than one payment, you can set the amount, you can set the date. Uh, you can even use things like, uh, if you click in here and look, you can set milestones, project dates, like whatever you want, you could set it up yourself. If you want to add another payment, you go ahead and do that as well. And if you click on these things here, you can either do a percentage, you could do equal pay, or you could do a custom. So sometimes you might ask for, I don't know, maybe 50% up front, and then you do two payments of 25%, that's when you'll do something like custom. So for right now, we're going to save that. So I'll say really quickly, guys, if you are the type that likes to fast track and you don't want to go through building these all by yourself, these are the kind of things that we're including in Filmmaker Pro, my online course. So once you're enrolled, you get the ability to not only start using HoneyBook, but you also get our templates that you can just download and start using right away. And this particular part of HoneyBook is what I use to build my six-figure production company. The course is now accepting our early bird applicants. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description where you can go and enroll today. The price is not going to be that low for long. So definitely go ahead and claim your full-time membership. This is where you can come to create a contract. 
very straightforward stuff. You can actually build one from scratch if you already have one. And if you do decide to join Filmmaker Pro, you get access to all of our contracts. So really quickly, I'll show you some of that we got here. So I got a video production contract, very detailed, all the information that we need from them, nice and easy. And finally, the pay page is where the client actually goes to make a payment. So you can set up to use auto pay. Uh, I strongly recommend that because it means that if you have more than one payment date, they have to set up a credit card and then they automatically take the payment from the client. So I would recommend doing that. So I would turn that on if I was you. And then, yeah, this is the page that the client is going to see. They pay. They can tip you if they want. All good. So we have an extra page. I'm just going to delete that. Let's just name it. Video reduction proposal. Once everything is done and you're happy with what you have, you can go ahead and save it. So we'll update and save from there. The template was updated. Perfect. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to go back and look at that proposal or make any changes to it, you go back to our template page, you go back to the file templates. And then um, if you go to all, when you just scroll down, we call it the video production template right here. This is where we're going to find it. What I like to do is hit that little star so that we can add it to our favorites, which will show up in this uh, folder here. But once you open it, you see everything that we just completed. So our welcome page, our process, our services, our invoices, everything is there and ready for you to either send and use or update. So if you actually want to use this with a client, it's as easy as going to use template. You can create a new project or you can uh, you know, choose from an existing one. It's entirely up to you. So I'll tell you exactly how I've been using my proposals to book probably like 70% of the clients that reach out to me. So pretty much if they go through this process and everything makes sense, they're going to book. So I guess what most people like to do is reach out to a client and tell them about what they can do for them. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I can send you out a proposal with everything that we do. And then they send out a proposal and then maybe the client likes the price and the services and they reach back out. But I would say probably nine times out of 10, they're going to see the price and maybe it's too expensive and they're just going to ghost you. So the way that I like to do it is I set up a consultation. So I get on a call with the client. And I tell them about all the things that our proposal offers, just basically walk them through it. And then I give them the price on the phone. And the reason why I do that is because I want them to hear the price and I want to hear their reaction to that price. Does that work for you? Does it not work for you? If it works for them, then on the call, we go straight into accepting their first payment and making everything official on the phone. If it doesn't work for them, then we talk about what type of price point that we're looking for. And then we start changing what type of uh, services and products are included with what they can afford. And then again, before they get off the phone, okay, I say, okay, you know what? That's perfect. That works for me as well. Let's go ahead and process your first payment while we're on the phone. Book the client, get a deposit. You got them in the door. Now, that's just a snippet of what I actually do to book my clients. I'm going to remind you guys again that Filmmaker Pro is now accepting early bird students where I go through the entire process from beginning to end and exactly what I say and do to these clients to actually get them to book my services over and over again. So if you want to fast track, you want to start learning these kind of things, go ahead and enroll today. The link is in the description. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for proposals in HoneyBook. It's very straightforward. Like I said, it's an amazing tool that I use with every single client that enters my sales funnel. And if they go through it and I send it to them and we're on the phone, I'm going to say about 70 to 80% of them actually book with me on the call. So if that's something that you want to start working into your workflow, go ahead and get HoneyBook. I'll also let you know there's a link in the description that gives you a 30% discount to your first year of HoneyBook. So if you want to start using the program and you don't want to pay the full price, go ahead and use my referral link. It's a great way for you to get a discount and to support this channel. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this one, guys. I just want to say thank you very much for continuing to support my channel by watching my videos. And always remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy, guys. Peace.